Hey there everyone and welcome back to a new episode of our Timber and Stone Let's Play. Episode 5 today and the last time around we got our most of our buildings set up here. We lost a bunch of livestock to a goblin which is a bit frustrating so I may look at doing something that um, a little bit early or you know early in this episode. may build up a little bit of a sort of a temporary temporary wall or something so I may look at doing something about that. Um, but for now we're going to keep the game running. We're doing pretty well. I mean, we're doing okay with our uh, materials and all that kind of stuff. Probably being probably things are a little bit slow at the moment. We may need some look at getting our food production up a little bit, so we can actually get some more like so hopefully some more settlers and stuff into the uh, into our settlement and all that kind of stuff. So we're doing pretty well, there, no major problems. We've got Jonathan here, which looks like he's built up our tool supplies, which is good, and switch you back to a carpenter to get some more timber and stuff done. As I mentioned before, we actually don't really need a full-time herder. So Ronald is our herder. We don't really need you to be our full-time. So I'm going to switch you to something else, Ronald. What can we do? What is most useful? Um, probably could, could use some more wood. Although we're actually doing okay, I guess, for the moment. Um, could switch you to a build and actually build like a bit of a temporary wall around here. Potentially, potentially, potentially. What would what would we do though? Where would we put? Would we put one all around here, or would we put it just? I'm not really sure. That's it seems like a little bit of a waste just to put like a temporary wall here. Maybe we should put some torches and stuff up. Can we actually build torches? Where are we? Processed materials. Um, where are torches? Um, weapons? Not turn on weapons. No, they're not. Um, 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 I'm sure there's torches somewhere. Are they uh, de decor? Lighting, there we go. Lamp posts. Uh, so we need a fair bit of stuff, don't we? Campfires. Um, initial source of light and warmth, refuel with raw, raw wood. Um, wall sconce, um, interesting. So what else have we got? What have we got in uh, decor? decor? Stone bench, some banners, wells, trees, hedges, shrubberies. I would like a shrubbery. Um, and what else have we got? Military, some military stuff there. Guard positions, patrol routes, trees, constructions. All right. Um, 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 I don't think it's really probably worth putting a wall in yet. Uh, maybe we sort of just have to keep a bit of a better, bit of a better eye on this area. So our house is nearly done. Um, we definitely need some animal animal hides. So that's something we have to look up there. Got a fair bit of food. Maybe we should actually make another fishing rod and turn um, Ronald into a fisherman. He's only level one at the moment, which is okay. But given that we probably want a whole bunch of extra more food, um, because we want some more extra people coming to the settlement, maybe we should switch you over to a fisherman to get some more food in. This um, area is almost done. And may actually look up. I think it, I think it actually may be worth actually putting a bit of a keep wall around here. To build like a proper wall around this area. And that can actually be the start of our, of our fortifications. And then we can sort of build from there. We can sort of build up the hill and build a big, nice big castle up here. And maybe that should be something we're doing. Anyway, we'll think about that for the moment. Um, see how um, the forage is actually getting rid of all the dead bodies and stuff here. So I got a little bit of food from them, and yeah, didn't get anything from the goblin courts, but that's corpse, but that's okay. And getting rid of all those bodies, that's cool. So don't really have a whole lot in terms of livestock, like I said, we will build that up over time, which is fine. Alrighty, I think we're definitely going to get um, Henry or no Roland, Ronald, not Ro Roland, Ronald into a fisherman's job. So what do we need? We can, we need some twine first, I believe. We need processed materials, twine, and we need a level one tailor. And we're going to use our flax fibers. Even we've got lots of that. We jump in and make ten of those. Um, I suppose, don't suppose Ronald is a tailor by any chance? He is a level two tailor. There we go. Actually, get um, jump up or you know, create a bunch of twine. So that'd be good. So put him to use there, which is good. Lacking a little bit of raw wood there, so we may look at doing something about that. Like I said, we probably really need some extra people in the in the settlement, so get some more productions and things going. But we're doing okay though, no major problems apart from losing a bunch of livestock. But apart from that, everything's going well. There's Jonathan, and there we go. There's Ronald producing some twine, which is good. And we should be able to produce a or make a fishing rod now. So let's go. Just a normal fishing rod. Actually, we probably can create a strong one. So it's level 11 carpet. Actually, we don't have a. Jonathan's not level 11, is he? No, he's only level 9. Alright, so that's cool. We'll just make create a standard one then. So two twine, seven, uh, two raw wood, and a level 3 carpenter. So we're going to say. Um, create one in queue and switch you already, already a cup not yeah all right so that means he'll go, go and create a fishing rod quite soon uh, there we go doing that already so that's good so that's almost done our little housey is almost done here all 
How's our storage going? Almost all, you know, it's a fair bit of storage and tools though, so I'm not really worried about, worry about that. Masonry is fine, we don't really actually mining anything at the moment, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, lots of food in our feeding troughs, that's cool. Don't worry about the chickens. Hope you don't get slaughtered again. Do you have a fishing rod done, which is awesome. So once we've got Ronald, is finished with his time, which is you've only got four more to go, which is good. Um, we'll send him over to be a fisherman and get some more food and all that kind of stuff set up. So see our extra carrot um, patch or carrot farm there is done, which is good. So there'll be some extra food next harvest season. And one more spot to go on our on our little housey thing there, which is awesome. Ronald is now a level three. Oops, excuse me guys, uh, level 3 tailor, so that is good, so awesome, 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 go Ronald, leveling up like a beast. So he's almost done, so we're going to switch him, as soon as he's done we're going to switch him back over to and put him into, into a fisherman, get some more food, hopefully get some more people into the settlement, there we go, fisherman, fisherman Ronald, and our house is done, so here you go guys, actually as you can obviously see here, um, can't actually see into the... Um, into the house what we're going to basically do is sort of just basically um, get down into or switch down the levels the z levels or i suppose the depth levels there so there we go so actually open that up now obviously as you can see here actually all this area now is sort of like blacked out for actually like into level so you actually like sort of scroll up like that so oh there's another chicken let me domesticate the chicken is there any more chickens around maybe switch someone back to a herder I'm actually grab another sheep given that we've only got one more left Sheep don't really do a whole lot at the moment, given we're not really shearing them. We don't really need any of their wool or anything, so but it's probably good to have them anyway. Um, there's no real more chickens I can see yet, so we'll get into some more chickens later. Uh, that's something we just saw, isn't it? Yeah, cool. Alrighty, so that's fine. Let me switch. What have we got here? So we've got Jonathan. Um, we're going to switch one of you guys over to a wood chopper. Uh, probably Oliver, given that Jonathan's more valuable. So we'll switch Jonathan into a wood chopper. We're actually out of stone hoe, so I'm going to switch Jonathan back to a stonemason to get some tools and stuff built up as well. Ronald's over there cruising and fishing. So obviously given he's level 1 it will be quite take quite a bit while. Okay, take quite a while to um, build up his ability and it will be quite a slow process but that's okay. Too worried about that so. Um, yeah, so there you see our initial settlement which is going relatively well I think. Um, how are we going? Tools is fine. Masonry is fine as well, so it's not really too worried about that either. Farming's going well. I think our food production should start building up a fair bit quite soon. Um, I think our farming is going pretty well. We've got a fair bit of wheat, I think, as well, don't we? Raw materials, uh, yeah, fair bit of wheat. Lots of flax as well. Probably should get in some blacksmithing stuff as well. We just don't really have the people. Like everyone's doing things like valuable tasks at the moment, like things that we need to be done. So. Are you any, any good at blacksmithing? No, you're rubbish, you're only level 1, so that's okay. We're not really going to put you into it to be a blacksmith then. Um, yeah, so it would be good to get this one done. We don't have any animal hide though. I assume you have to get that. You know, you probably get that by killing animals, I suspect. Um, yeah, alrighty. What can we do? Can we, make, can, you get, can we actually make you. get you to make anything that we can actually sell potentially? Not really, I don't think. Maybe we should put you into a wood chopper temporarily. I actually do that. All our tools and stuff is fine, so I've put you into a wood chopper for a little while, Jonathan, and you can go out and chop all the wood, be a lumberjack, and be okay. And yeah, that'd be good to get some more wood and stuff done as well. Build up our wood supply. Do you have a little bit of timber and stuff as well, some building stuff, which is good. So let's switch this back up here, and just so we get the levels and stuff, and this hill doesn't sort of blank out a little bit. There we go. Um, yep, cool. Alrighty, Ronald, with your fisherman, yeah, it's taking very slowly. Do you any food up there? But that's okay, not really too worried about that. We've got Henry over here, which is, he's got a bunch of food, 49 food, which is good, so we're probably not going to be too far away from actually approaching the threshold where we're actually be able, going to be able to get more people. So, probably, I think it's probably not going to be too far away, which is good. So, I can't really remember what the criteria is. I think we've got, start with eight, is it eight settlers? Um, I think it's 20 food per per settler rings a bell 20 rings a bell maybe it's 25 could be 30 um 20 rings a bell though so i think what given that we've actually got uh, 278 so 22 eight, well, obviously you like eight two to 16 so 160 food is sort of the, the threshold there so even if you like the threshold is 200 we're actually sort of over that a fair bit now so as you see that uh, the, the the count's going up here so our, our farmers actually sort of producing a lot of food now which is good and we're actually seeing here these this farmer he's actually harvesting these things and actually getting some food and stuff there so that's good uh, 
Uh, it's good, 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 good. Everything's going well. A bit of extra raw, raw wood coming in. Skeleton's been spotted by Henry. So where's Henry? Henry's over here. You're a fair way away from our settlement, so that's okay. Just keep an eye on you. Make sure you go, come in and attack the skeleton. Um, as long as you go the other way. Um, yeah, that's fine. Just going to leave that skeleton there. So like I said, I'm not really worried about them being here. As long as they don't really come our way. A wolf. Um, Alright, we've got a wolf pack coming in. So we have to do something about that. So we've actually got some wolves here. I suspect there's probably going to be three or four or even five wolves. So, what we're going to do, we're going to jump into our guys, into our thing here, um, into our infantry. Switch all of these guys over to infantry. And what are you? You're a forager. Um, leave you there. You're a farmer. Switch you over. And a fisherman as well. So, you switch all of these guys over to infantry. Bring them all sort of in the center of town here. Give them all time to get back. Uh, actually, might as well just leave them uh, in, the, in like the whole area. So, you're our herder, aren't you? Oh, you're, a, you're not any of ours. There we go. There's an immigrant. So this is actually not one of our guys. This guy is an immigrant. So he's coming into our city, which is good. So I think he's probably actually drawn the, the people into our settlement, So which is not such a bad thing. A wolf has been spotted. Yeah, that's okay. So just bump the speed act down to normal. Um, yep, wolf's been spotted. It's the same wolves. So it's just fine. Yes, yeah, so see our guy coming here. So he's actually... Oh, they're leaving now, so... Actually, given they're over here, we're actually, even though actually we know that they're over here, we're actually going to send all our guys over here. See if we can potentially, I don't want them to sort of just keep coming back all the time, um, otherwise it's going to be a bit of a problem, so I'd rather sort of deal with them now. So here we go, this should be fine, hopefully these guys, no, come over this way guys. Come over this way, come on, over this way, over this way, attack the wolves, attack the wolvesies. So charge the wolves, there we go. I think we can actually switch these guys to um, seek charge target enemies, there we go, that's better. Let's switch back all these guys back over to this then, so they stop, sort of stay, stop running away um, from the targets, there we go. And if done you as well, there we go. And there we go, that's cool. There we go, so they should also jump over here and actually sort of attack these guys now. So here we go, this new migrant is wishing to join our settlement. So we've got a level 3 engineer, so what has this guy got? Which is Alice Wilson, or Elise, Elise Wilson? Um, what is Elise got? So he's starting off as a level 3 engineer, so he's an engineer, um, also level 3 miner and tailor, and level 2 stonemason, level 2 archer, so it's not too bad, nothing real amazing there, nothing that we really sort of desperately need. Um, but obviously not really going to sneeze at that. does actually bring in some good. So it does bring in three food, one stone hammer, um, rope, and it's two standard ingots. Actually, it's quite good. Two, two standard ingots is good. is an overeater, so obviously we can chew more food, but it's not too much of a problem. We're going to just click accept. So Alice Wilson is now in our um, settlement of Paradise Falls. So jump into, set up your initial um, things. So you put what put weight in a hall and also train until under level three. We're not going to leave. We don't need an engineer at the moment, so we're going to take you off this. I think what we're going to do... Um, I think we actually put you as a tailor initially, and we're actually going to get a whole bunch of twine set up, and we may even sell the twine next time the um, the guy comes in. So we use all of our flax. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, so we've got lots of flax there, so um, we're actually going to do that and queue up a whole bunch of flax. Probably just queue up. So it's two per um, two twine, so we can actually queue up. We've got 70. So we can queue up. 30. I think we'll probably queue up 30. So it's a huge amount of flax, which is fine. So you're level 3, so that's fine. So that should be coming on fairly quickly. Alrighty, how are we going over here? So we've got a fight over here. So it looks like the wolves... So wolves often actually run away once they sort of get into battles and things. So you actually see the ones running away. So there we go. So those wolves have been slain, which is good. So I'm actually going to say dispose the corpses. So they're not going to be a problem, which is awesome. Got a storage problem with some tools. So we're going to queue up another tool chest um, to get our tools in. So we've got another one there. There we go, and that these actually needs a level three carbon, just so that's okay. So once all of, all of our guys back here in the center, we'll actually switch them back into their professions. So we've got Ronald here. Ronald was a fisherman, wasn't he? Um, yes, he was. So Ronald is our fisherman. I should put you on the herder just initially, so we haven't actually done anything with our livestock for a while. So we just make sure that that's all fine, and then we'll go and um, sort that out. So we've got the rest of our guys back here in the in the the. In the hall over here, so we've got Constance is a farmer, we've got Oliver is was a builder and I think you're a wood chopper now, we've got Harry is a farmer, um, Alison is a farmer as well, so that should be all of our infantry I think, uh, you as well, so who are you, you're Ismay, you're a farmer as well, so there we go, which is good, alright, so that wasn't too bad there, definitely want to get into some short swords as quickly as we can. 
Um, so the, yeah, so that obviously short swords. Short swords do a whole bunch more damage, extra damage. And yeah, a wolf has been spotted by Henry. Where's Henry? Henry's over here. Um, do you have a weapon? Oh, a couple of wolves. All right, I would have actually probably fought one of you. But I'm actually not going to do that. I'm just going to send you back to our base. Uh, the problem with doing this is the wolf actually the wolves actually will follow us. So it's okay. I don't think you have a club. No, you don't. So I definitely want to get you back into the base as quickly as possible. So I'm click on this. Yeah, it should be fine. It's not going to get run down by them, so that's okay. Um, we will have to need to prepare our um, our guys again. So I've actually got four farmers there, so it's just too many. Actually, one of them obviously shouldn't be doing this. So he's made level seven, so definitely. Allison's a level ten, so definitely. Constance is level three. Maybe you weren't. Harry's a level four. Maybe Harry. No, Harry was our wood chopper, weren't you? Yeah. All right, there we go. Harry's level four wood chopper. So that's what you were doing. Um, we are actually going to put our guys back into infantry though. Um, so we've got our sheep in there, which is good. So once that's done, we should put our guys back into infantry. So we've got level four now, infantry, which is Constance, and we're going to grab these four guys. They'll all come back here into the, the into the hole and chill out for a while. We've got um, see the wolves still coming in, so that's fine. We've got you picking up these. Oh no, pick up this one. I'm send you over here so you don't get eaten by the wolves. Because that's the thing about wolves, they actually do follow you into the settlement. So he's actually picked up here, which is good. So we've got our, um, our three, our four guys there. So now they're all there in the one spot. We're actually going to click both of these guys in to charge this enemy. And that means that they're actually all, they're all going to come over here and like seek out these targets. So that's good. So this should, should be a fairly good battle. Or fairly easy battle, I should say. For us, anyway. So there we go. I mean, three hits and he's down. So and hopefully they'll ch chase this one down as well. And he won't be a problem. There we go. So I've come with some of our guys have taken a bit of damage, so we definitely want to get. Um, there we go. I should dispose and gather these. So hopefully we actually get some animal hides from these things. Ronald is now a level four herder, which is good. So go Ronald. Ronald's a bit of a beast. Um, all right. So once these guys are back, obviously we'll switch them back. I think we still have a, a forager going, don't we? Yep, Henry. So do actually do we have? Has he actually collected any um, animal hides? No, he hasn't. Not yet, anyway. So these ones over here, do you have, do you have any animal hides on you? You do, a couple of animal hides, which is awesome. So that means we can actually now be able to finally, 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 uh, if we come down into the, there we go. We can actually build a um, animal hide bed there, a straw bed. So actually I'm going to queue up another one, given that we've got a couple of animal hides. So a couple of beds and we'll get some of our guys regenerated in the house. So we can queue up another one there, there we go. Um, a wolf, that one's dead, so that's fine. Storage, um, tools and food. So we're going to need another food crate so we can queue up another two i think um here lots and lots of food 339 food which is good so we should start getting a couple of immigrants in which is all migrants in which is awesome so we've got oliver here so what was oliver oliver was being a wood chopper i think um yep so you're a builder engineer wood chopper herder yep so put you back into a wood chopper constance was a farmer uh, or was she a farmer I've got one there Harry was a farmer. Constance, no, Harry's a woodchopper, that's right. We made that same mistake last time, didn't we? And Ismay is a farmer as well. There we go, that's okay. Well done. So what do we need to make the crates here? So we need a carpenter and a carpenter there. So where's Jonathan? What's Jonathan doing these days? So Jonathan is here. You've got a bunch of raw wood on you. So once you've done that, once you've deposited that, we'll switch you over to a carpenter, get these crates built, and maybe put you back to a stonemason to get some of our tools done. Don't have the materials to craft a straw bed, but he, straw bed. But he, um, Henry here is actually dropping all these off, so actually say they're dropping some things off. So now they actually can jump in and actually build these beds, which is awesome. He's made a level eight farm, which is awesome. So building these up fairly quickly, which is good, 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 good. Um, Alice is still building those things there. We've got Ronald is doing nothing, so actually switch you back to a fisherman, which is what you were doing before. So obviously our guys, our little, actually got another, we got five chickens now, which is good. So that's good. So you're building that up fairly quickly. Um, where's Jonathan? That's Jonathan. So we switch Jonathan back to a carpenter. Temporarily get these crates built because we're actually out of storage for a couple of things, which is okay. And yeah. And all is going fairly well. So there's one bed up, one bed set up, which is good. I actually see Constance here because Constance is down in health. This little blue bar down here is Constance's health. 
Um, and we should say that he's or she's um, actually sort of resting now. So that'll come up over time. So it's actually good to have these beds up. It means that our guys that are actually been attacked or a bit down on health actually get these repaired. It means they won't get killed like easily um, with any lucky monsters and scuff coming in. So that is good. Um, crates have been built and looks like Jonathan is building some another fishing rod, which is good. Um, get one of those set up. Everything else is pretty fine. Probably switch you back over to a stonemason temporarily, just if we need any more tools set up. And once you're done, we'll put you probably put you back onto wood chopping. Which is good, good, good. Everything's going pretty well. Pretty happy actually. Um, got a few wood choppers and stuff going on. It's got some storage. Storage is pretty fine. Um, yeah. So all right. So Jonathan is out of things to do. So what we can get you to do, Jonathan? Uh, probably put you back onto wood chopping. How many wood choppers do we have actually? We've got three. Yeah, three. So where's our new guy, Alice? Alice is I try Alice Elise or Alice is doing the tailoring. So how much have you got to go? You've only got one to go, so that is pretty good. So once you're done there, we'll give you a second job to do. He's actually resting at the moment. So actually looks like he's really down on health. Old Alice Wilson. So maybe he was attacked when he was I suspect he was actually attacked. Um because he looks like he actually dragged those wolves in to us. So I suspect what happened is he's actually spotted spawned over here. On the edge of the map, um, there were some wolves over here already. He probably got attacked, and that's why he's so low on health because he definitely wasn't in the, any of the battles that we fought. So that's probably the reason why. So he's going to be out of action for a while, or she, he or she is going to be out of action for a while, but that's okay. At least they won't sort of die easily. So yeah, everything else is going pretty well. Cool. All right. Henry is now a level seven forager, which is good. Um, can we actually build any more beds? Do we have any more animal hides? We don't. So that's okay. It's not a disaster. Got two beds, which is good. So Constance should be finished there fairly soon, and Alice will be there for a while, but that's okay. How's Henry going? What have you got for us, Henry? You don't really have. Oh, you actually got some more animal hides. Another four, which is good. So I must have harvested or you know picked up some more loot from some of these wolves over here. So actually, queue up so a couple more beds. I think. So what we're going to do? We're going to put down two more straw beds. So we can't fit one there. Where can we fit one? We can switch them around. There we go. Put one. You may just do put them here like this. Have four beds in here. So one there and another one there. So there we go. So once um, Henry drops off all his stuff, which is not too far away. So actually, see once basically what happens is they hit their limit here. So he's got once he hits the 12 limit, um, he'll come back and drop everything off. So you can actually change that if you want to come back soon. You actually drop that down like that. See, so well you can actually increase it as well. So just leave it there. There's no real point doing anything else. So we should leave it there. Everything else is going pretty well. Um, a wolf has been spotted by Henry, so it's one wolf. Is there any, no, there's actually more. There's actually another wolf pack there, so I'm going to send Henry back again. Send Henry back. I may, may just actually send Henry back to drop all of, all of his stuff off, so we should do that. Make sure he's going to be okay. Yeah, we'll be fine, but wolves, wolves, wolves are definitely coming back in. So I have to do something about that a little bit for it soon. Constance is finished on um, resting up, so that's good. So we're going to have to get our guys back into infantry mode. And that should be fine. So where are the wolves? They are definitely coming our way, so that's right. So once they're a little bit closer, we'll get our guys into infantry and, and put them into like set up some targets on them, so that's fine. Alice is over or Elise is over half um, half health there, so that's good. Hopefully they should get set up or you know back to full health pretty quickly. Got the wolves coming in and we're gonna set up our guys back into infantry into their little infantry modes. We're gonna set up another four here. Uh, I should check their health actually while we're here. So Constance is fine. Ismay's fine, um, Harry's fine, and Oliver's just a little bit down. That's pretty much fine as well. So then we're going to come back over here. Um, do you have any weapons on you? No, you don't. Um, a few of our guys are actually sort of out of the way a little bit, so... 
Let's just send you over here. Just don't, you know, don't want you to attack them on your own. Looks like they're heading away a little bit. I'm actually going to queue up some charge of the enemy. So our infantry guys should come in and attack them now. Um, hopefully they don't come in here and attack Alice. I don't think they should be able to get through the door. No, they can't. That's good. Alrighty, so that is one wolf down. Um, we're going to wait until our guys are back here, which they are, which is good. And we're going to queue up another charge enemy there. So they're going to come up here and attack this enemy, which is good. Um, disappeared. It looks like they are trying to get into the door, are they, potentially? I'm not really sure. Alright, so they all went down fairly quickly, which is good. Shouldn't have taken too many hits on our guys. So dispose resources here. There we go. And this one, that's no, already done. Cool. This wolf should come down. There we go. That one's down as well. And I'm just going to say charge this one as well. So we want to get basically the whole wolf pack. We don't want them hanging around doing some extra, you know, doing some damage over time or anything like that. So we did you set you up, didn't we? So charge. Yeah, we did. Right. I'm not really sure why you've come back here when we've got a wolf target set up. So this guy, at least, is going to take a little bit more damage than what he should have done. Uh, not too worried about that though. There we go. So the wolf's down. So he's may took a fair bit of damage, but that's okay. Not the end of the world, really. Dispose of those. Send these guys back to their normal jobs. So Ismay is a farmer. Um, Constance is a farmer as well. Oliver is... I think you were wood chopping, weren't you, Oliver? There you were. And Harry was wood chopping as well. There we go. And we've got um, Henry. Where's Henry gone to? I he's buggered off somewhere, hasn't he? Where's Henry gone? Not really sure. Harry. Was it Harry? Yeah. There's Harry. So Harry's heading off to pick up all these things, which is good. So we've got a couple more beds. So we've actually got four beds set up, which means good. Just good. We get our guys um, repaired up fairly quickly, which is all awesome. So obviously the better quality beds, the quicker things, um, re you know, quicker the health regenerates. So we get a fair bit of more, um, a bit more animal furs and stuff, and animal hides, which is good. So definitely not running out of those at the moment. So that is good. So we don't have to worry about that. Alrighty, got a fair bit of food, 339 food, um, stone, wood, all that kind of stuff is totally, totally fine. All our um, stone, all our tools and stuff are good as well. Um, so what are we going to do? What's going to be our next project, guys? I think we have to sort of start, start jumping into some things. I, mean, I think we want to get into some, um, and get our, some, get some um, ingots and stuff done. So hopefully build up some blacksmithing skills and then we can... Um, hopefully get some, start getting some short swords done. So Oliver, where's Oliver? So you're a wood chopper at the moment. I should switch you over to a blacksmith. We've got a fair bit of wood. We don't really need a whole lot more. We come into process materials and set up a whole bunch of standard ingots. So it takes two copper ore to create one standard ingot. So we're going to queue up 10 of those to use up all of our copper ore. And also can queue up another four um, there to use up our scrap metal. So that should be 14 standard in. So we should have 17 standard ingots all up. So hopefully that gets um, Oliver up to level 5. I'm not really quite sure it will do, but hopefully it does potentially. So there's Oliver over there. So you're only at the start of level 3. So it may not get him all the way there, but we'll see anyway. So it's probably a better way than, you know. Good to get, good to get some, some blacksmithing skills set up anyway. So that'll be fine. So Ronald is a level 2 fisherman, which is good. So actually, there we go. Just upgraded, which is good timing. I've um, got a few people repairing up over here, which is good. So... At least so Alice is still there. Um, Ismay's repairing as well, and Harry as well there. So good to get those guys healed up. It'll be good later on to get some armor and all that kind of stuff set up as well. So that'll be good. Um, do we need Henry to be still doing this? Probably yes. Probably just leave him do off go off and do his thing. Still getting some berries and stuff coming in, so that's good. Better to get some food. Hopefully get some more migrants and things in as well. That would be awesome. I've only got two farmers working at the moment because one is repairing, or one not repairing, resting. Not robots, are they? Um, alrighty, so it looks like Oliver is starting to get them, uh, get those ingots and stuff done, which is awesome. So he should train up his abilities fairly quickly. I'll keep an eye on this, actually. Just pop up the speed a bit, see how quickly it actually does. See how quickly it does actually come up. Actually, fair, it does jump up a fair bit each time he does an ingot. So actually to 14 ingots. So could actually get, even get up to level 5, which would be awesome. So obviously level 5, the reason I'm saying level 5 is level 5 is what we need to actually get short swords. So we have a level 5 blacksmith and we need two standard ingots and one run, one raw ward to actually create so, um, short swords. So once we get short swords, we should be fairly okay um, having our guys set up. We may, we may even actually start training them up. So what we can do is actually put down some dummies. Um, where are we? Objects, militaries, actually some training dummies here. Um, do we need, uh, I think we actually got all the materials there. We actually do have a level 3 engineer, so we may actually set one of those up soon. And basically train up our four guys um, that we've already got on infantry skills to actually have better um, infantry abilities. We've got Henry over here with a skeleton. 
So skeletons do, sort of don't really seem to chase around. They sort of just sort of stay in spots. I'm actually not worried about that. I'm just going to sort of head off over this way. Just make sure Henry doesn't um, get stuck into battles or into anything there. We've got Elise here, which is, or Alice is repaired up. And you're our engineer. So what we're actually doing is we actually are going to queue up um, our, what are we going to queue up? We're going to queue up our a training dummy. And maybe if we've got a bit of spare time now and then, um, we'll actually start putting down some, some work on that. So we've actually needs a level three engineer, one timber, four twine, and six wheat. So he's totally fine. So you put one, we're going to set one of those up. We're going to set one up over here somewhere, sort of out of the way a bit. So there we go. So um, Alice Wilson, or Elise Wilson, should set that up or get stuck into that fairly quickly. Then you've got one person here. Ismay is almost healed back up, which is good. So all of our people are fully up to healed, which is good. So um, Alrighty, we are... 31 minutes to the episode. Uh, how do you expect me to fish when I ain't got no fishing pole? Yeah, fair enough. Um, we'll actually put a pause in the video here, guys, in this episode, and we'll come back around next time and sort out. Um, is it Ronald? Yes, Ronald. Ronald's fishing a pole a problem. Uh, sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? Um, yeah, all right. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, it would be amazing if you could subscribe to the channel and like the video. That would be enormously appreciated. Hope you've all had a good day, and I'll see you all for the next episode.